Hey everyone, welcome back to Body Bags. Um, I've got an interesting one for you tonight. Um, this movie has been reviewed on Body Bags, but it's been four years. And this is a movie that honestly is criminally underrated. Um, no one talks about this movie anymore. Uh, the few people that you hear do talking about it aren't exactly kind with it. And I think that's a very undeserved, um, it's undeserved. I'll just say that. That movie is Virus from, uh, 1999, has, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, William Baldwin, uh, Donald Sutherland, um, basic plot of the movie, um, these people are out on a boat, they're, like, you know, having to deliver some stuff, they're in a storm, uh, they end up losing all their cargo, and, uh, they end up coming across, though, an abandoned, well, seemingly abandoned, um, Russian, um, science vessel. Um, they get on this vessel, uh, no one's there, completely empty, all, like, the power's been cut, so they go, they turn the power back on, and it quickly becomes evident at that point that there's something more going on here, um... Essentially, you have, like, an alien intelligence that from uh, the Mir space station at the time, um, which essentially invaded this ship and is, like, using people to as spare parts to create, like, bioorganic creatures. This movie... It, it just, it works. It honestly does. You know, is it, like, probably the most well-written movie ever? Probably not. But it's it's good. It's fun. I believe the characters. I believe their reasons for doing things. Stuff makes sense. You know, um, the effects in this movie are top-notch. And I was actually surprised because it's been it's been a couple of years since I last watched this. When did this Blu-ray come out? This Blu-ray came out. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure when this Blu-ray came out. But the last time I watched this was when this Blu-ray came out. I got this when it first came out. Um, I was genuinely surprised at the amount and quality of the gore in this. Um, there is CG in this movie. And, you know, I'll say this, though. I mean, a lot of the CG, yeah, it's, it's kind of dated, but it looks a lot better than a lot of CG that you see nowadays, honestly. Um... Like, there's a scene where this, like, uh, creature is, like, smashing stuff up. And you can see, obviously, like, okay, that's, like, the real, like, puppet thing they made. The 12,000-pound puppet that they made. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, this is CG. You can see the difference, but it's it's good CG. Um, f It's good CG for the time, I'll say that. Uh, the acting, it's... It, it's good. It's decent for all, all around. I mean, it's Jamie Lee Curtis, um, William Baldwin, Donald Sutherland. You can't go wrong with, like, that cast. Um, it's all in all just a fun movie. A really fun movie. Very mean-spirited, which is something I always appreciate, because I really like a nice mean-spirited movie. Um... And also, it, it just works on many levels. And it's horror on the ocean mixed with sci-fi as well. How can you go wrong with that? I Those are, like, you know, some of my favorite subgenres right there. Underwater horror and, like, space horror. You put them together, stick them on a boat. It, it's just, it's, it's good stuff. It really is. Um, I would say if you've seen Virus and, you you know, you probably you didn't think much of it. I would say give it another shot. Um, I was really, like I said, I was really surprised, like, at the quality and quantity of 
gore in this movie. I, I'm a gore hound. I love my horror movies gory. I love, you know, I love them gory, mean-spirited, like, just, mm, you know. So, give it another shot, honestly. Now, is this going to be, if you've, how can I put this? If you've never seen this movie, is this movie going to rewrite how you think about movies? No. You know, it's... It's kind of like like a basic type plot, you know? It's a basic, like, survival against, like, creatures type thing. That's what this is. But everything it does, it does well but it doesn't do anything special. So as a result, that so that that affects the rating of this movie. This movie gets a 7.5 out of 10 for me. Um, had they done something more with the plot, you know, may, done something... I don't know what they could have done. I mean, it's quite a simple story, really. But for what it is, everything is done well. You know, I can't... I can't complain about anything. You know, I can't say, you know, oh, you know, like, uh, this acting wasn't good in this part. Like, no, it was fine. The effects were, were solid all the way through. You know, minimal, questionable CG. So it's 7.5. And also this Blu-ray, I don't know if this is still in print or in stock. This is the Scream Factory Blu-ray. Loaded with features, you know, it's got two commentaries on there and everything. And honestly, the commentary with uh, the director and the writer uh, is a really interesting commentary to listen to. That mentions, you know, like about the, you know, this puppet they made. Literally a 12,000 pound puppet. You know, and like how people were kind of freaked out, like having to work with this thing. Because it's a giant pneumatic, like machine, a 12,000 pound pneumatic machine that could in theory rip you to pieces if something went wrong. So, you know, there you go. So, Virus, 7.5 out of 10, good flick. I definitely recommend it. If you can find a copy of the Blue, definitely pick it up. If not, I'm sure you can probably find it streaming somewhere. Um, but it's a fun movie and you can do worse. That's something that you can, that's can never be overstated. The fact that you know you could do worse than a movie. There, there's a lot of bad movies. Um, this isn't one of them. So take that for what you will. But that's it for me. See you next time.